My goal as a program director is for our fellows to be able to go out and practice in whatever environment they want to practice in, whether that's private practice, academic practice. We want our fellows to be prepared to work in whatever environment they're going to be in. This is a place that will give enterprising people a real opportunity. And we see that in our fellows as well. We want to give them an opportunity to be excellent and to really achieve their full potential. I find that the clinical training here at University of Nebraska is unparalleled. We have a robust, diverse uh, clinical experience for our fellows. Our fellows tell us after graduation that their clinical training here at UNMC has prepared them very well for their careers. The strengths of the program are multifaceted, uh, but in particular it's the breadth of uh, clinical exposure that we have. Um, the topics of selection are multiple since we do, we, so we are, since we are a, a core transplant um, uh, a hospital, uh, anything from heart, lung, uh, kidney to uh, the bone marrow transplant population to a fairly robust HIV population, uh, uh, as well as a heavy emphasis on biocontainment, infection control, um, and uh, uh, yeah, the sky's the limit and uh, there are people and uh, resources here in order to accomplish your goals if you have a particular research question that you wish to look into. The thing that I love the most is being able to take a resident or a medical student or a fellow and work with them. Oftentimes they've never done research before and they get so excited about doing something and move from have never done it to publishing to presenting at national conferences and then getting all of this credit and accolades for doing that and it just brings joy to me. I love it. It's such a rewarding experience to share your passion and your interest with a, a fellow and see them get excited about the, the clinical and, and research questions. Teaching brings me back to why I went into medicine and um, why I chose this specialty. And so it really keeps um, my passion for the job alive. It was very clear from the outset how much faculty was going to be involved in helping us grow and, and learn and uh, progress in our career, uh, which was a, a huge attraction as well. Every single faculty member, all the fellows that I met were incredibly nice and welcoming. Um, that just had a great vibe. So our biocontainment unit here at UNMC um, was one of the first biocontainment units in the United States. We actually opened in 2005. Um, we are one of the only biocontainment units in the United States and we're the largest uh, with 10 beds, uh, particularly to provide care for patients with highly hazardous communicable diseases. And we have a lot to offer to our fellowship trainees. We have a, a dedicated biopreparedness program for our fellowship um, uh, trainees that where we have didactic lectures as well as training with our biocontainment team in personal protective equipment and other things that really provides um, a, I think a, a very uh, a very comprehensive experience for for our fellowship um, fellowship trainees and those courses are taught by um, some of the world's experts in biopreparedness and biocontainment. I think uh, I did not realize just how much we do, uh, at least in terms of the UNMC. Um, I have uh, appreciated our national presence. Uh, in, in particular, it's been shocking for me to see my own attendings on, uh, on CNN or you know, published in the New York Times as being the forefront in dealing with COVID. Um, again, part, part paired with the fact that they're so down to earth and readily accessible, but yet they're uh, world leaders in their respective fields. So it's been inspiring and humbling to be able to have the privilege to train here. I want to thank you for looking at the UNMC Infectious Diseases Program. And you should choose UNMC and rank UNMC first on your list because number one, you're the focus. We want to give you the tools and the training and the knowledge so you can be successful at whatever branch of infectious diseases you want to pursue, whether that be community practice, academic practice, or to go to work in government or public health or industry. Number two, your training in infectious diseases is rock solid. You're going to see everything from common garden variety, community acquired infections, to treating the most complex immunosuppressed patient with an opportunistic pathogen. Number three is the fact that uh, you're going to do this training in an incredibly pleasant place. So Omaha is a wonderful community, very welcoming, you'll be comfortable here, and it's a fun place to be. I'm enthusiastic about recruiting fellows who we can help to train to be the ID physicians they need to be for the 21st century.